This could be the car that puts Audi back on the luxury EV map in Australia. It's called the Audi Q4 e-tron, and when it arrives in Australia in mid-2024, it'll bring with it a high-tech EV powertrain, this sporty and sophisticated design, and crucially, very sharp pricing. What do you reckon? Is this a panacea for those who desire a relatively affordable, battery-powered Audi? Have your say in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and like the vid. When it finally arrives in Australian showrooms next year, Audi's first sub $90,000 electric SUV will be available in two body styles, a coupe-like sportback and this regular SUV. I say finally because the Q4 e-tron has actually been around since early 2021, but due to overseas demand, we're still waiting on its arrival in Australia. Which is a shame because this is a good looking car and exists in an EV sweet spot. A mid-size SUV with five seats competing against the likes of the BMW iX3, Mercedes-Benz EQB, and Australia's top selling EV, the Tesla Model Y. Motive Force is provided by dual permanent magnet synchronous electric motors in this 55 e-tron model, driving all four wheels, or quattro in Audi speak. The e-tron 45 model is propelled by a single electric motor driving the rear wheels, and that will be the more affordable model. This big banger dual motor version is good for a zero to 100 kilometer sprint in around mid five seconds, which is not that fast for a modern day EV. However, rumor has it, there is an Audi RS Q4 e-tron in the works that would certainly remedy this state of affairs. While this vehicle is almost three years late to the party in Australia, one of the benefits is that upgrades to the vehicle have already been made, including to its 77 kilowatt hour battery, which should improve charging times and potentially the cruising range of the vehicle. Audi Australia is yet to confirm what these are, but we're excited that they could be pretty competitive. The interior feels truly like a next generation vehicle, and that's something that Audi loyalists are gonna get really excited about. And it starts with this gorgeous steering wheel. Some people call them a squircle, a square circle, but either way, it's got a flat top and a flat bottom. It looks and feels fantastic. And the overall dashboard design too, it's suitably ultra modern. All the car controls are thoughtfully laid out, and I really like the digital driver's display as well, or virtual cockpit in Audi speak. Over here, you've got an 11.6 inch central touchscreen, which looks great because it's slightly angled towards the driver and really nicely integrated into the dash. And importantly, you've got physical temperature controls down here. And this is important given that it's VW and Skoda Cousins condense those controls into the touchscreen, which is annoying and requires more inputs to make simple changes to the temperature in the cabin. I really like this little shelf area here as well. It makes access to the gear shift, audio controls and drive controls really easy. It looks great and below it, you've got a little storage area for odds and sods, two USB-C ports, a 12 volt socket, also a wireless phone charger with a clip so that phone doesn't bang around and some models will also be available with a new Sonos sound system which could be quite scrumptious and I gotta say at first look and touch there's no way you'd know this vehicle shares its platform architecture with the Volkswagen ID4 and Skoda Enyaq overall presentation and material quality is just on another level and these seats too these sports seats that come standard with the 55 are seriously comfortable because this electric SUV is based on a clean sheet electric platform, or MEB in VW group speak, it has a far greater sense of space compared to vehicles of a similar size. I've got loads of leg room, headroom is fine, and overall seat comfort is really good as well. This power operated tailgate reveals a surprisingly large boot. You've got 520 litres on offer in this SUV model and slightly more in the Sportback. And while it doesn't have a front trunk or frunk like other e-tron models, you do get plenty of secret storage cubbies, 
to put your charging cables or contraband. This SUV has loads of showroom appeal and is a genuinely innovative and affordable SUV, something that Audi hasn't had for quite some time. With a futuristic attitude, competitive pricing and a big dollop of practicality, this vehicle could be just what Audi needs to spark renewed interest in the brand and certainly drive new customers into showrooms. Stay tuned for our first Aussie Drive. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and let us know in the comments below. Is the new Q4 e-tron a game changer for Audi?